What is going on guys, Naxville 363 I am back here with a series of ZTE Warp videos. DJ was kind enough to let me borrow one of his phones from his store so that I can show you guys these new techniques, methods, whatever you want to call it. So if we go down to the About phone and we scroll down, you'll see here that I have the B08C build number okay and if you watched my previous videos on how to root the ZTE warp you'll notice that that method no longer works so now if you have updated your phone I'm going to show you how to do how to install your clockwork mod so you can now root your ZTE warp after the update alright so first things first if you are using Windows 7 like I am sorry I'm currently holding the camera so if it's a little shaky that's why so the link in the description click on that and it will bring you to this page right here now the main issue with getting the drivers or is basically getting the drivers installed so that your phone can communicate with your PC so if you go ahead and scroll down he runs through the steps on how to do this okay now this is not just for the ZT warp however it does work and I can confirm that it does first thing you want to do is you want to click on PDA net and whichever version you have I have 64 bit so I have already installed this on my computer so go ahead and save that file and it's a .exe okay so you need to have that installed on your computer because if you do not have it installed on your computer then basically your phone cannot communicate and you will not be able to root your phone once again this is only for Windows 7 users so if you're using XP or Vista your phone the drivers might install without giving you any problems now it's going to bring up a prompt kinda like there's a virus on your computer just and it tells you in here I think it's step number two yeah he says that there's a warning that pops up you can go ahead and click OK it's not a virus it's not gonna harm your computer and I could vouch for that Alright, so once you have that installed, I can't, I'm not going to run through it because it's self-explanatory. Basically, um, after you have it, do not have your phone connected to your computer because it, it'll basically run through the steps on how to get it installed once you open up the computer. So now that we have that, that's all settled. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, send me a message. Don't leave a comment because I don't always get to all those comments. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, the next step it will be the link number two. Okay, so click on that. Huge thank you to this guy right here, Woodstock77. He, this is his post. I'm just doing these videos for the people that don't understand when they go on the forums and don't understand what they're getting at because they can be confusing. Anyways, there are three different um, methods, I guess you can say. One is by Quiet Storm, one's by Snake X, and the last one is made by Woodstock 77. Me personally, I found that using the Snake X one worked out the best for me. Oops. So what you want to do is, now you can use any of the ones that you want to, but I recommend this one. It's a one-click process for installing. And once you click on that, it'll bring you to Snake Axe's post. All right. And what you want to do is you want to click on that. And it'll bring you to the zte.rar file go ahead and download that save it to your computer okay now if we go back to Woodstock's post you will see here on the bottom that after you install clockwork mod you need to put the super user dot zip file on your SD card and he has provided the file right here so if you go ahead and click on that now it'll bring up the super user dot zip right here go ahead and click on that now let's go on to the next step alright so now we have our files I put mine on my desktop leave super user just like that don't uh, don't extract it or anything just leave it what you want to do is on the ZTE file right click and hit extract here which will give you just a folder ZTE alright so if I back up 
and open it up this is what it'll look like okay these are the files that should be inside of it all of them obviously this one being key in the bottom all right it's not not going to be there not not going to be there anyways it'll be in there but that is key and the first one should be run me install clockwork mod script all right now let's run to our phone okay now we are on our phone and just to show you that I do not have super user I will run through the menu and as you can see super user is not in the menu now what you need to do on your phone prior to this process is go through your settings go to applications and you want to make sure that unknown sources go ahead and tap that so there's a green check mark next go to development click on that and your very first option will be USB debugging go ahead and make sure there's a green check mark in that okay this is very key now on the very top what you will see is your USB and you also see a miniature gray Android when you see both obviously if it's plugged in like mine is right now you'll see the USB main thing here like I said in my other video is that you see this miniature Android guy now leave it do not turn on USB leave it as is okay now let's go to our PC okay I skipped ahead of myself really quick go ahead and put your phone in USB storage mode so he's orange go over to our PC and here is the root of your memory stick now what you want to do is you want to take that super user folder that I told you not to extract and go ahead and click and drag it onto the root of your memory stick okay and now leave it as it is don't extract it because now you're gonna see how you're going to install it using uh, your clockwork mod recovery mode Okay, so now that we have super user that uh, zip folder installed on our SD card, go ahead and take this out of USB mode so it turns back green. Now, um, on, back on your PC, you'll have that ZTE folder. Go ahead and right click extract it till you have just your folder. Go ahead and double click on that. Let me go ahead and get this maximized. Now, main thing here is that you have USB debugging mode, the little Android guy, and you do not have your phone connected to your PC uh, for USB storage. So it should be connected, but he should be green, not orange, okay? Once we have that, we're ready to go back. All right, now this is very, very simple. All you have to simply do is double click run me now it's just going to run through the steps that I already have told you to about making sure that your phone is in USB debugging mode etc and you have unknown sources checked now it says just press any button to continue go ahead and press any button it's going to reboot into bootloader alright so what's that, what that is going to do is make your phone sit just like this it's not going to advance it's just going to stick right here on the Android guy now it says to give it a good 10 to 20 seconds before continuing if you had the driver installed correctly that PDA.net thing will pop up in the lower right hand side of your computer now um, if you do not have the drivers installed properly instead of it rebooting into bootloader um, well actually it'll do that and your phone will be stuck just like this except it'll just say waiting on device and that's when you know that you did not install the drivers correctly obviously we have already waited 10 to 20 seconds go ahead and press any key now it's sending recovery now what it's going to do is it will reboot the phone now this step and just makes you wait until you get to at least the lock screen as soon as you see the lock screen then you can go ahead and press any key. If you press any key prior to the lock screen coming up, then what's going to happen is you're going to have to repeat this whole process all over again. So once we see the lock screen, I will go ahead and press any key. 
Now we are going to be in Clockwork Mod Menu. And here it is. And it will say uh, Clockwork Mod Base Recovery version 5.0.2.8. Now, for this particular section, this is why I had you put Super User on your SD card. Let me flip this back so I can get into zoom mode. Alright, so now that we have the Super User zip folder on the SD card, make sure you flip it back so he's back to green and you still have the little Android guy on top. Once you have that, you are good to go. Now, earlier I mentioned that you should... Um, extract the ZTE folder so it looks just like that just ZTE let me go ahead and open this up now what you want to do is when your phone is connected it's going to still look like that go ahead and double click run me alright run me okay now it's going to run it's just going to give you these steps I already told you what to do you don't need to read it Go ahead and press any key. Now it's going to reboot into bootloader. Now what you're going to see is a little Android guy, just like when you uh, start up your phone. Now it's going to sit with just like this. Now it says, please wait 10 to 20 seconds before continuing. And then that's an important step, apparently. And then press any key to continue. Now, um, if you did not install the drivers correctly after it says rebooting into bootloader what's going to happen is as opposed to saying wait 10 to 20 seconds before continuing it'll say waiting on device and that's when you know you did not do that you do not have the drivers installed properly probably the most common problem that people are going to have uh, we say I've waited 10 to 20 seconds go ahead and press any key to continue now this is what it will say sending recovery 0 0.001 seconds that's how long it took now it's going to reboot into recovery mode and says please allow ZT warp to at least reach lock screen before you press any key so basically if you press any key between now and when it gets back to lock screen you're gonna have to start the whole thing all over again which I mean it's not that time consuming but still so and yeah, we'll show you guys what this looks like. So once you see lock screen, like I do right now, go ahead and press any key to continue. Now what it's going to do is it's going to put it into the clockwork mod menu. Now for this, what you're going to be using is the up and down volume rocker and your home and back button. All right. So now what you want to do that's the clockwork mod now what you're going to want to do is let me see if yeah, there we go that's not bad okay install zip from SD card once you have that selected go ahead and press home let me see if I can get this to not be so bad there we go now it says choose zip from SD card that'll be your very first choice go ahead and hit home now what you want to do is you want to scroll down to super user dot zip sorry it's not focusing good once you have that selected go ahead and press home now what's going to do is make you scroll all the way down until it says install super user dot zip and what that does is it helps you so that you don't make any mistakes now it's completed now it says install from SD card complete now is when you can use you can install another one or you can simply hit back and your very first option will be to reboot system now and that's when you go ahead and press home now it's going to reboot Oh, it's going to be such a long video. <clears throat> and no, it's going to take this many parts and sections, so the whole custom ROM thing will have to be a video on its own. I apologize, but I don't want to make like a 30 minute video. 
I mean, me personally, I, I watch long videos, but I don't know, it's a little too long for me, even. Now, when we go through our menu, scroll down, boom, super user. So now, to show you guys that I still am on B08C, about phone, build number B08C. Vader says it's root time. All right, so now that you guys, I hope that really helped out a lot. Like I said, it took me a little bit to figure that out myself. I hope this solved any problems. Make sure you guys check out my other video I'm going to do probably like right now, I guess, because it's still only 8.30 in the morning. And I will show you guys how to put a uh, custom ROM on your ZTE Warp. Thanks for watching.